Yes, it seems as though many Rastas, those who call themselves Rastas, many, not all, not all, not all, but many Rastas who call themselves Rastas, they know of the Rastas. So many Rastas know Rastas, but they really don't know Ras Tafari, Ras Tafari, Kedamawi, Allah Salah, so the real teaching of his majesty and we say not all not all not all but there's many ones especially more so i think nowadays this whole social media you know information knowledge going to and fro you know they say in the abundance of water you know the old proverb parable was that the fool is thirsty you know that even with all this information you know, you can take the horse to the water, so to speak, but you can't make it drink. You know, you could give somebody a book, you know, but you really can't make them think, you know. So here we're touching on something that we've heard over and over from certain uncertain Rastas. And they're uncertain about the teaching of Rastafari. First of all, Rastafari doesn't come from Jamaica, come from Ethiopia. Right, and the Hebrew and Judaic influences there, you know, even in Ethiopia, this comes from even the Solomon, the Queen of Sheba, even before that to Moses, Moshe, and his Ethiopian wife, all up in the Torah, right there. So we know there's uh, there, there's deep roots, we talk about our roots, give us the teaching of his majesty. So a lot of ones are doing these end runs around what Kadamawi Hala Selassie has so said. So here what we like to do and like to touch on addresses some basics. Right? Just some some basics here. No, Hala Selassie is not Jesus Christ. Right? And definitely he's not Kaiser Borgia or Caesar Borgias. You know, that that's who see the choice right here. <laughs> the choice right here should be clear. You know, between Christ, right, the one who represents the true Moshiach, the true anointed, even upon the throne of great King David, and his testimony is of our black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I mean, that's that's the Ethiopian, we said the ancient testimony right there. Let's just show this right here as we showed over here. Let's bring this up again. We can see even the Ethiopian Christ leading up to the time of that revelation. It says in his what well, it says in his in his times he shall shew the prophecy in Timothy in his times he shall shew who's the blessed right the only potentent in his times so the messianic times and we've witnessed right and we're in that dispensation even right now 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 so it's about God in the flesh this is according to Tuahedo according to the biblical teaching right he created man in his image after his likeness and breathed into him right. First, right, Adam, you know, and then we have the, the the last, right? So between the first and the last, and it say the second Adam, but the last, right? So Elohim in the flesh. Let's touch on this right here concerning the word. This is one particular statement that many ones get confused. What his majesty speaks about the word, right? Some would like to make believe. He's saying that it doesn't matter you know, um, translations doesn't matter or versions of the Bible doesn't matter. But what does his majesty actually say right here? Let's bring this up right here. Scroll over here. Let's start with this right here. Here we go right here. Here's the word sound right here. You might have come across this and give thanks. I think it's Dawn, right, Who's, who, who did this one right here, this presentation. Let's zoom in. in. Let's zoom in, in because we're, lo we're looking at this first, this first um, paragraph right here. Right, his imperial majesty, Gormawi, Haile Selassie I, Gormawi Haile Selassie, emperor or Negusa Neges, king of kings, is at Ethiopia. He says, we in Ethiopia have one of the oldest versions of the Bible, but however old the version may be, in whatever language it might be written, the word, right? In them hard Bamrinya, we say the Kal, Kal, the Kal, the Kal, Kalu. Kalu, his word or Kalu, the word, the Kal, right? The word remains one and the same. It transcends all boundaries of empires and all conceptions of race. It 
is eternal. What are we speaking about? Or rather, what is Negus Neges Ze Ethiopia, the king of kings of Ethiopia, Kedamawi Hala Selassie? What is he speaking about when he says it? What is it? All right, like the mana. Remember the mana? The angel's bread <laughs> that the children of Israel, right? The Bnei Yisrael, the Beta Israel received when it, when it was in the wilderness, that, that mana, manhu. It was like mana, mana, mana. Like, what is it? You know, what is this? All right, well, what is, what is it here? Let's read over this again. Let's put things into context because many would try to make you believe when we talk about His Majesty's Bible, we talk about the Hebrew, we talk about, you know, the ancient languages and the Gaz, the Ethiopic, the Royal Amharic, you know, the Hebrew. Even His Majesty says in the preface to the King of Kings Bible, what we call the Book of the Seven Seals, Revelation 5.5, 5, he calls the Hebrew the Meseretawi Kwankwa, Meseretawi, the foundational language. Now, some take this first verse because they are in the teaching of his majesty unorthodox and we're not talking about orthodox church we're not talking about building right we're talking about the faithful fulfillment right of the call of the requirements right they're unfamiliar right with the rastafari katamari halasalasi that's all we said that many rastas many rastas not all not all but many rastas know rastas Right? So many Rastas know Rastas, but they don't know the Rastafari Kedamawi Hala Selassie. You know, many ones say Rastafari, for I, 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 I. No, give us a teaching of his majesty. This is from the teaching of, this is the core. We in Ethiopia have one of the oldest versions. You know what a version is? Version of the Bible. But however old the version may be, in whatever language it might be written, the word. So the question here is, what is the word? Who is the word? Let's put it into context. Now, if we continue to read this particular speech right here, as Matthew goes on to speak about, no doubt you all remember reading in the Acts of the Apostles of how Philip baptized the Ethiopian official. He is the first Ethiopian on record to have followed Christ or Christos, the Moshiach, Messiah. And from that day, and when? From that day on with the word, are, are, you, are you getting the link? We ask the question, well, what is it? The word, well, well, what is the word or who is the word? From that day onwards, the word of Egziabihir, of the sustained, the good, the generous, open handed Ab, Egziabihir, has continued. The word of Hilahim, the Almighty, has continued to do what? To grow in the hearts of Ethiopians. And I might say for myself that from early childhood, I was taught to appreciate the Bible and my love for it increases with the passage of time. All through my troubles, I have found it a cause of infinite comfort. Quote, come to me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And he asked, who can resist an invitation so full of compassion? Hmm. Let's go here for a moment. My I to to the law and to the testimony. What it said, if they if they speak not like this, it's because there is no light in them. When it says, "Come, right, come to me, right, come to me, right," let's put ye, right, that labor, like that old English way of saying labor, right, ye that labor. Boom, Matthew eleven twenty eight. Red letter, red letter, red letter, red letter. That's so. The red letter is the Moshia. The word, right? Who is Moshiach or who is Christos? Who is Christ? Is not Christ according to the true teaching of the scriptures, the true teaching of the Bible, and the true teaching, right, of Kedamawi Halasalasi? Is not the word in the beginning was the word, right? And the word was with God, and the word was God, and then the word became flesh and tabernacle. That is the word. He's not speaking about all the translations are necessarily right and accurate and it's all the same thing so it doesn't matter many people would misread and not just many people i don't think it's many people we're talking to it's on many rastas as you said rastas who know rasta rasta become rasta for rasta but really don't get to really receive or get to know 
Rastafari. I'm talking about the Rastafari, not Rasta for you or Rasta for I and Rasta for he and Rasta for she. No, Rastafari. Adamah we the Salah say, the namesake. You know the namesake, right? That who you identify when you say Rasta, right? Where, where, where you get that from? Some say, oh, Rasta the Ting, you know, in Jamaica. Well, before that, the lightning shined from the east to the west. So we're going to the source, the source, the source here, right? Give us a teaching of his majesty. Because the devil philosophy to say, well, when he says the word, that means all the translation are the same. No, 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 right? That, that, that contradicts the clear interpretation of what his majesty is saying right here, the context, right? We talk about the word, the word, Right? It's that same word in John's gospel, John 1 and 1, that word even from the beginning. Right? In the beginning was the word. But here's the quote, as Massey quotes, Matthew 11, 28, Come to me, right? all ye, y'all that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Right? And I will give you rest. Right? What is this? Furthermore, take my yoke, my discipline up on you and learn of me. Right? So Yeshua is saying this to his disciples. Is not Katamawi Hala Salasi the Rastafari saying to all those who call themselves by his name? Is he not? Is he not? Right. Take my yoke, my discipline upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly and hard, and ye y'all shall find rest, right? Rest to your souls. For my yoke, right, that discipline is easy. And my burden is light. It's, 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 it's a light thing. This is light work here. Brothers and sisters, this is light work here. Right? But see, the problem is, right? The problem is, right? The same problem that there was with the Israelites. They have a zeal. Many ones have a zeal. Even many Rastas have a zeal for Hylas Lots. They have a zeal. But is it according to knowledge? Right? Is it according to the plain facts? Right? What's his Matthew saying right here? Let's go on right here. He says, because of this personal experience in the goodness of the Bible, I was resolved that all my countrymen should also share its great blessing. And that by reading the Bible should find truth for themselves. Therefore, I cause a new translation right, to be made from our ancient, ancient language. From our own roots, right, into the language which the old and young understood and spoke. And this is what we speak of when we speak about the royal Amharic, right, or the Amharic of Kedamawi Hala Salasi, the Mets of Kedus, the Book of the Seven Seals, of that time and dispensation, as it says in, in Timothy, in his, in his times he shall shew, he shall show, show and prove, weep not, behold, Right? The Lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has prevailed to do what? To open the what? The book. The book. Right? And to loose what? The seven seals thereof. Therefore, I cause a new translation to be made from our ancient language into the language of the old and the young understood and spoke. Now, if he meant what many faulty, you know, misinterpreting Rastas, Right, ones who have not gotten the first things first, believe. Right, Th this would obliterate what he's saying here. Right, but when we read the whole thing and put it into context, this is why he sums up right here. See, because when ones try to take this first, this first area right here, we in Ethiopia have one of the oldest versions of the Bible, but however old the version may be in whatever language it might be written, the word. So, so what is the word? Who is the word? According to the context of Kedamawi, Haile Selassie, the lion of the tribe of Judah, right? The king of kings of Ethiopia. According to what we know for show, for show, for show, right? Concerning the teaching of magic. Who is the word? What is the word? You see, for some, some, somebody don't get this. It remind me of John, was it John 14, 22? You know, in John chapter 14, 22, it's uh, Judas, Yehuda, not Iscariot. It actually says that, not Iscariot, it acts in, well, how are you going to manifest yourself to us and not to the world? How are you going to manifest? How does his majesty, Ketamah, Halasalasi, manifest himself to the called, chosen, and faithful Rastafari, 
right? But not to the world, even to the called chosen faithful Rasta fry and not to many of those who say they're Rasta, right? Just say they're Rasta. You can say you're Rasta, you can say whatever you want to say you are, right? But if you're taking someone else's name, <laughs> over that, you know, taking someone else's name and trying to do all sort of pseudo intellectual, you know, somersault and Cirque du Soleil, you know, acrobatic tricks to get around the plane. The plain interpretation of this word, right? What's the plain interpretation of this word, right? We can safely say that, well, Haile Selassie says that the word, right? Haile Selassie, or maybe we'll go short so we can put the fuller full in the title. Selassie I says, right? Selassie says the word, right, is the Christ. The word is the Christ. So we can say the word is Yeshua. The word is Jesus, right? Ha Mushia. The word, the word, the word. Right? Need we go to John 1 and 1? In the beginning, in the beginning, right? That's why he says that in whatever language it might be written. Right? Because we know that a word and words. See, he didn't say words. He didn't say that the words are one and the same. See? Because they don't know the word. Right? And see, he brings it out furthermore, right here. We talks about no doubt you all remember reading in the Acts of the Apostles, right? Concerned about Philip and baptizing the Ethiopian official. And he said, from that day onward, right, the word, you, is that, you get that right there? The word, right? And you say this language, that language, but the word, the word became flesh, right? Incarnate, in the carnal, incarnate. That's what incarnate means, right? That word. Right in the flesh, right that word, right the word of Exiavia, the word of Hilehim, has continued, continued. Notice the word is continued. He didn't say that the word began. He didn't say that when the Ethiopian eunuch came forward with the testimony of Moshe of Ye of Jesus of Yeshua that that's when the Ethiopians began. Now this is a long way from the so-called um, what 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 do you call it the. Uh, the was the third was the fourth century what was it 300 something when people talk about in the fourth century or something like that you know they speak about azana you know azana and how azana and ethiopia became christian you hear ones and ones talking oh you even hear many ethiopian many who call themselves orthodox saying that you know that oh it was it was in the the fourth century with Azana and Frumentius, and then there's some kooky guys out there that say oh Ethiopia wasn't conquered, you know, by you know weapons, you know, like by another pot, but it was conquered by Christianity. You know that's 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 what they're making you believe, because many of those probably also believe the same way that the word here is just talking about this translation. No, you're saying that the word, right? Is, it's like we say God is God is God. I could say God. I could say Elohim, right? I could say Amlak. I could say Gizyavir, you know, Deo, Deos, you know, um, Kurios. You know, I can use the different languages and linguistics, but the, the, the one who be, he who be who he be, he remains he who be who he be no matter what you want to call him. If you want to call the almighty you know, you know, if you want to call the almighty, whatever you want to call the almighty, he still be who he be in whatever language, right? This is what it's saying here about the word, the word made flesh. That's why he goes on to say right here today, right? Even in days like these, man, and even a lot of Rastas, right? Sees all his hopes, his hope and aspirations crumbling before him. He is perplexed. And knows not whither he is drifting. It seems like the more and more you have Rastas going away from the plain teaching, right, of the King of Kings concerning Christ and concerning the Bible, right, you find more and more sound like they're, they're perplexed. You know what I mean? You know, almost like a lot of cranky, almost elders, you know, running around saying that, oh, what, 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 what? You know, the youths don't, the youths, the youths, the youths. Oh. If the youths are getting their instruction from the elders, and if some of the elders are talking contrary to the teaching of his majesty, well, there, there, you, there you have it. There it goes. Right? But 
he must realize that the Bible is his refuge. This is the teaching of his magic, the Mawihala Selassie, the Rastafari of all Rastas. All right, so anyone who says, yeah, I'm a Rasta, you know, in the connection of this revelation and culture and movement, it is to be derived from, right, whether rightly or wrongly, right, from the true light, right, of the Rastafari, Kedemawi Hala Selassie, facts, right, but he must realize that the Bible is his refuge and a rallying point, the what? The rallying point for all humanity. In it, man will find the solution of his present difficulties and guidance for his future action. But here's the key. And unless he accepts a clear conscience. What was old roots, reggae, then Burana Salasi, Bob Marley and the Whalers, how they chant it? Um, guiltiness, rest upon them conscience, right? But it says here, the king of kings, right? The conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. All right, root of David, Kedemah HaLaSalasi says, unless he accepts, this is for I and I and I and I, with clear conscience, the Bible and its great message, he cannot hope for salvation. What does HaLaSalasi seal this up right here with? For my part, I glory in the Bible. So you hear a lot of Rastas. Right? And ones who say they are Rasta and Rasta and this and that and Rasta this and that, right? That will contradict that. We'll talk all sort of things about the Bible. Mm -hmm. Or about this version or that version, right? But what about the word? <laughs> you see, what about the word? We, we, we're going to circle, circle forward to this right here again. What about the word? Right? We in Ethiopia have one of the oldest versions of the Bible, but however old the version may be in whatever language it might be written, the word, the kal, kal, the word, right? The word, in the beginning was the word, remains one and the same. The word became flesh. It or he transcends all boundaries of empires and all conception of race because did he who be who he be the almighty did not he create according to the, the scriptures did he not create all through his word right it is eternal or we can say he is eternal and here's a seal up right here when you hear these people trying to do little tricks they're trying to say well it doesn't matter what translation it is but in the same word sound of Kedemawi Hala Selassie who they misquote Right, he says, therefore, I cause a new translation to be made in a language that both the old, the elders, and the youth that reminds me of the Eliyah, El, Eliyahu, right? The, El, the Elijah prophecy that we have in Malachi, you remember? Turn the hearts, you know, the children and the fathers, the fathers and the children, their hearts, otherwise, there'll be a curse, uh, like on the earth. Right, and we see where his majesty here in this very word sound here. Therefore, he caused a new translation to be made, right, into a language which the both the old, the elders, and the youths, so there be no what generation gap, so to speak, you know, no breach, right, to appear the breach between the elders. Right? Those who had the Gutters, the ancient scripts, right? And then those who spoke the Amharic, just putting in the context of what His Majesty is referring to, what the Rastafari, right, is saying. So what His Majesty basically is saying right here is that the word, right? The word is Yeshua. Right? He's saying the word is Yeshua. How do we know that the word is Yeshua? And that's what His Majesty Haile Selassie the first means right here. Well, let's just go to the the scripture, right? To the law and to the testimony. As it says, if they speak not like this, it's because there is no light in them. In the beginning was the word. Right? Let's put word here and then let's put God here. Right? And let's search this. Boom. One verse, one verse, one verse. In the beginning, one verse, universe, right? Melech Ha Olam, right? Zemanawi Nagus, right? King of the universe, universal king. In the beginning, 
was the word. Mm, the word remains one in the, and the word that remains one in the same was with God in the Amharic, the Ethiopic, right? The word was with Elohim in the Hebrew, Otheos, Otheos in the Koine Cop, the Greek, and the word, the Logos, right? Because the word here is the what? Logos. So see, his mind is speaking about something very, very plainly logical. But because many Rastafari, or many Rastas, yes, say, Rastas out there, especially nowadays, you know, because Daniel's prophecy shows what's going on amongst the elect, right? There's a war against the elect. It's like a spiritual warfare, right? So we don't really blame our brothers and our sisters so much, but we have to first warn them. Right? This is a warning, warning video. So like, share, and subscribe right here. Share this video. When Hala Selassie is speaking about the word, right? He's speaking about God, right? You know, we said that, that word that became flesh, that word that incarnated in Kadistan Gulmarium, in the Black Madonna, right? And gave birth, right, to our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMoshiach. Robenu Yeshu, Adonainu Yeshu. You can see right here the word is logos. Logos. Right? Here defining the word. The word can be speech, can be a word. He didn't say a word, he said the word, uttered by a living voice, embodies a conception or idea. You know what someone has said, that's one you know, meaning of word. The sayings of Elohim, of Xiavi, of God, decree, mandate, order, of a moral precept given by Elohim, Old Testament prophecy given by the prophets, what is declared, a thought, declaration, aphorism, a weighty saying, a dictum, a maxim, a discourse, an act of speaking. All this right here can be brought out from the basic translation of the word logos as we have here, right? Logos, its use as respect, respect to the mind alone, the reason, the mental faculty of thinking, meditating, reasoning, calculating. Let's scroll down here. Here is the context. You see what it says in John? Now, according to the testimony of Kedamawi Hanna Selassie Negus Negeza Ethiopia, we know there's that, that Judeo-Coptic, that Judeo-Christian link right there. Right, both going back to we could say to the times of Philip and the Ethiopian official, going before to to Solomon, the Queen of Sheba, even going before that, if we go before that to Moses, Moshe, Moses and his Ethiopian wife, his Kushawit. That's there in the scripture. So in John it denotes the essential word. Ah, here we go. The essential word of God. So when Selassie says the word, right, he is speaking of the essential word of God and not all these translations or versions. He's speaking about the essence, the essential word, right, Debre, you know, Hadabar, you know, the word of Elohim, Yeshua Ha Moshiach, right, the personal wisdom and power in union. That's what they call Tawahido, Tawahido, Mawahad. Right, to become Ahad, Wahad, one, in union with Egeziavia. His minister, his minister in creation, his what? His minister, right? So the word is Exia, is the almighty power, Hila Hymns, minister in creation and government of the universe, the universal, universal government, the cause of all the world's life, both physical, phi cycle, and ethical, which for the procurement of man's salvation, right? So the word, right? That word of the Almighty, that word for the procurement of man's salvation, put on human nature, put on the human nature, right? In and through the womb of Kedistan Gomarium, right? Saint Mary. Right, the Black Madonna put on human nature, the human nature in the person of Yeshua HaMoshiach, Jesus the Messiah, called Christ. Right, the second person in the Godhead, in the divinity, and shown forth, shown forth, shown forward, conspicuously from his words, 
So he is the word. How do we know he's the word? From his words. Right? The words may be translated into this and that next language and different versions and everything, but he is the word. Right? The word. The word is still essentially the word. Though his words may have been translated into different languages, so forth and so on, right? But we know the word, right, based on, right, from his words and study to show us and his deeds and his doings, right? And for I and I, the call chosen and faithful Rasta Farai, based on the teaching of his majesty, give us, right, the teaching of his majesty, of Gurmawi. Right, give us Gurmawi Timherit. Right now, these these lying pseudo devils philosophies. Right, even if it's well meaning from a Rasta, a Rasta man, well meaning, but if it's off, it's off. It's contrary to the teaching of his Majesty. We got to call that out, right? Because we don't love our brother. And we don't reprove our brother, right? Therefore, we don't love our brother. We don't reprove our brother, right? He said we're not to hate our brother in our heart, but any wise to reprove, rebuke, reprove it. We've got to reprove, right, these lies that are being said, even well-meaning, right, in, you know, in Rasta, Rastafari name. And this is one of them that we've reasoned on before. Just do a little vlog right here, right? Something said, thought, topic, reasoning. So there is the general sense of the word, right? Like a word or words, but there's a specific sense of the word. And it says with the definite article. You see this word? With the article. You know the article, the word. Go back to that word sound, right? The word remains one and the same. The word, right? Which is the divine expression. What it says? That is Christos. That is the anointed. That is Moshiach. That is Christ. Right? This is what his majesty is saying right here. This is a point of reference right here. Right? John 1 and 1. Right? John 1 and 1 explains this right here. Right? Explains this right here. So when they try to make you think like, well, it doesn't matter, you know, us studying his majesty's, the pure language. You know, it, it doesn't matter. Let's just give, give, give them this verse here, here too as well. This verse right here. Um, turn to them, right? Turn to them a pure, you know, a pure language. Now, I know some say, well, oh, that's not that hard. Like the original language is, no, you're not listening. See, when we say pure language, we don't understand what the word pure mean. What does the word pure mean, right? You know how the pure, puree, you purate something. You know you pure, purify something, you purate something, right? It's a process. It's a process, it's not the, the original thing is the original thing, but then you take the original things that you have and then processing them, this is how you purify them, right? So Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 9, it says, For then will I turn to the people a pure language, that they may all call upon the name of Exiabi, the sustainer Yahweh, Jehovah, to serve him with one consent. Look at verse 10. From beyond the rivers of Ethiopia. Uh-oh. Right. <laughs> Are ye not as the children of Ethiopia and the male children of Israel? Amos 9 and 7. From beyond the rivers of Ethiopia, my suppliants, even the daughter of my disperse, shall bring mine offering. So the connection we have here in these two verses with the language, right, getting to our roots and also connecting this here with the teaching of his majesty beyond the rivers of Ethiopia and what's said right here, we in Ethiopia have one of the oldest versions of the Bible, right? But however old the version may be, in whatever language it might be written, the Kaal, the Kaal, Kaal in the Ge'ez and in the Mark is the equivalent of the Logos, right? That we have in the Koine Coptic Greek of the New Testament and the word Dabar, Davar, Davar, Ha Davar, the word, the Dabar, right? And this all points it was a definite article, right, to that expression, right, of Elohim, right, that we have come to know, right, in the and through the incarnation as Yeshua HaMoshiach, right, as our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, just to make that, you know, abundantly very, very clear, right? So we call this like the Bible. <coughs> yes, yes, yes. We call this the Bible, the Bible speech right here. 
right? We in Ethiopia. He's not talking about linguistics here. He's talking all about Christ in this word sound. The Bible speech is all about the Moshiach. It's all about the expression of the Almighty that has become flesh. And the word became flesh and dwelt amongst us. And in, here's the key, right? Know ye not that the kingdom of heaven is in your midst? Not just dwelt amongst us, but also the call is, Come to me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. So here, 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 going to seal up right here, you know, on this one right here concerning the real teachings. Give us a teaching of his majesty. So if mine and mine want to deny because white man and the Gentiles and whitewashed Christianity and counterfeit, you know, Christ and antichrist doctrine, then you need to just get rid of, don't even call, don't even take the name in vain. Right, could we say his name is holy? We say Rastafari, Rasta. Then what about glory? Right, what about the glory that is due? Right, and the glory that is due is through the teaching that is due. And it's clear if you rewind this vlog right here that he says, For my part, I glory in the Bible. So if we as Rastafari glory in him, our teaching should not, right, should not contradict the teaching of his imperial majesty. Give us the teaching of his majesty. Kadamawi Hala Salasi, we not want no devil's philosophy. So his majesty, right, Hala Salasi says, right, the word is the Christ. The word is the Christ, not the translations, right? Not the versions or translations. Let's make it very, very clear. Right? It wasn't a version or translation that became flesh, but it's that word, the very word of Elohim Ha'ab, the very word of God the Father, the Elohim Ha'ab. Yes, yes, yes. Shalom, Rastafari. Yes, I.